One of my greatest inspirations to start my cosmetic industry has been my love for the ocean and also my grandmother. Can't believe it's been 23 years since we uh, started this company or I started this company. It just seems like yesterday. Every day is a Monday to me and I am probably one of the very few people that you'll ever meet that say that they love Mondays. It's exciting for me to get up in the morning and have a list of all the things that I have yet to accomplish and all of the goals. Inspiration is everywhere for me. When we first started our cosmetic company, I never really intended to sell it in the natural products industry. It evolved holistically and organically. I uh, lead a very healthy, natural lifestyle and I shop in health food stores. So I saw a need that people uh, that shop in those stores, they need healthy, organic, wholesome cosmetics and skincare. So it all fell into place. And I truly believe that if you're passionate about something, the world is just, uh, is just waiting for your idea to come into fruition. We started off as a organic skincare line and that slowly evolved, organically evolved into color cosmetics. Uh, customers were asking us, well, you already have a fantastic skincare line. Uh, you need to expand it to color cosmetics. And that is my forte color. Uh, I really love working with textures, different types of formulations with cosmetics. So I felt like a kid in a candy store when that uh, fell into my lap. I started working with our chemists in trying to keep out all of the harsh allergens found in mass market cosmetics and replacing them with healthy beneficial ones. We first launched Gabriel Color, which is a classic contemporary palette. And after a huge success with that color line, I decided to evolve that into a second makeup line, which was Zuzu Lux. Uh, and Zuzu Lux is a little bit flashier. Uh, I call it, uh, the tagline for that is unleash your inner beauty. The title says it all. One of my biggest rewards uh, in the timeline of Gabriel Cosmetics happened last year when we opened up our own retail store here in our own backyard in Seattle at the Redmond Town Center. That to me was a pinnacle of my personal achievement with the company. There I was able to, or I'm able to showcase our products, how they should be showcased, how they should be retailed and also sold. Uh, the whole situation just uh, happened to fall into my lap and we were able to put the store together in five days. That to me was an achievement. In marketing new products, one of the things that I like to do is I like to take the show on the road. And that involves uh, testing new products on customers and I enjoy doing that myself. I'm able to ask questions, I'm able to see the results and how a product works on, on someone. And I, nine out of 10 times, I'll send them home with samples. I have a test panel group that I work with too, where they are able to test products for me and then just see how uh, the results are affected on their skin. They come from different nationalities, age groups, and different parts of the country. The most rewarding experiences that I get is when I'm working on a customer and I do their makeup and they look in the mirror and they don't recognize themselves. They actually, some of them are starting to cry because they had forgotten that um, everyone is beautiful. It's just a question of you know finding it in yourself and bring out your best feature forward. If I were to go back in time and talk to myself, and what advice would I give myself? I would probably say, stay true to your vision, even though uh, there may be detours and speed bumps along the way. Just remember to stay true to your vision.